fourth grade. Welcome back. I was so impressed with your homework over the weekend on your place value review. Now, in class today, we went over some of our new place value concepts. The most important one being value versus place value. And we're going to go over that today so you have a little help for your homework. Now, when we're talking about value and place value, we first need to understand all of our place values that we're using this year. Last year, you went up to the thousands place in third grade. Now in fourth grade, we're going even bigger. So let's review together. When we have our place values, our very first place value, our smallest one, is our ones place. After that, we have our tens place. Then our hundreds. and our thousands. Now, these are our place values we already know. Now we have to add the new ones. But you'll notice it doesn't get too difficult because there's a pattern we're going to follow. We have our ones, tens, our hundreds. Then we put a comma there to separate and we get to our thousands. Now after our thousands, we're going to follow the same pattern. So ones, tens, hundreds, one thousands, Ten thousands, and then we have our hundred thousands. After that, so those are our new ones. We have our ten thousands, our hundred thousands, and this year the biggest place value we're going up to is going to be our million. We're getting into the big digits now. So we have our new place values. We have our ones, tens, hundreds, comma, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, comma, and our millions. Those are the place values we're going to be using this year. Now, before we get into our first major unit of study and the standard in that unit of study, we have to understand one key concept, value versus place value. So we're going to have value versus place value. Value versus place value. So this is going to be important because they're very similar and their titles are very close to each other. So we have to make sure we know the differences and we don't get tricked on those tests. So if we have value versus place value, value is going to be, let's see, let's use our new, our new color, value is going to be how much it's worth. How much is that digit worth in our bigger number? And our place value is how much or where it is located. So that's our place value. Is it in the ones, the tens, or the hundreds? So that's going to be our location. So place value is where it is. It's going to be in the ones, in the tens, in the hundreds, in the thousands. Now our value is how much that digit is worth. So if we have the number 525,269 and we have the 5 underlined. Once we do that, we can identify our value and our place value, but they should not be the same thing. If we're doing 525,269, our place value of the 5 is equal to the place value it's in. 1s, 10s, 100s, 1,000s. So our place value is the 1,000s. Our place value is the thousands. Now our value, how much it's worth, is going to be equal to the place value and our digit multiplied. So let's talk about this. If I have a five in the thousands place, that means I'm taking 1,000 and I'm using it five times. So if I have a five in the thousands place, my value is 5,000. Notice, my place value of the underlying number is the thousands. My value is 5,000. That's going to be a major key to remember, value 
versus place value. If you're having trouble understanding, turn rewind and watch this over again. Now let's practice a little bit. So we are going to review a couple different examples to make sure we really get this. So let's make a chart. Please do this on your paper at home. So we're gonna have a number the place value and the value. So let's use this to make some examples. If I have the number 62,483 and my four is underlined in this number, then my place value of the underlined digit is the hundreds place. My four is in the hundreds place, so my place value is hundreds. But my value is how much this four is worth. Now it's a four in the hundreds. That's four hundreds. So it is four hundred. I can check my work by looking at my underlying digit. It should match the initial digit over here in your value. Four and four. Good. Then I count my place values that come after it. Four, and then I have one, two place values after it, so I should have one, two zeros after it. Let's try another one. If I have 352,791, and my three is underlined. Now for this one, if I wanna do my place value, ones, tens, hundreds, one thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands. So that means, that means my value is going to be in the number form of three hundred thousands. If I have three in the hundred thousand spot, then my answer should be three hundred thousand because I have three sets of hundred thousand each. So one hundred thousand, two hundred thousand, three hundred thousand. I could check that by making sure my first digits match, counting my place values after it. Ones, tens, hundreds, one thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands. That's one, two, three, four, five place values after it. We have one, two, three, four, five zeros. We're good. Let's do one more before we wrap up for the day. So let's try 1,327. My place value that I've underlined is my tens. That's where my number is located. I asked you, where is the two in this number? You would tell me it's in the tens spot. That's how I would be able to visualize ones, tens, hundred. Oh, it's in the tens spot. So that's how I would answer my place value question. But my value is a two in the tens spot. That's two tens. If I have two tens, that's gonna be equal to 20. Now I can check that. My twos match, they stay the same, and there's one place value after. So that means there should be one place value in my value. So now we should have a better understanding of how to compare our values and our place values. This is a major key for this unit. So please review and practice this video as much as you need to to come to class confident and prepared tomorrow because we're gonna be getting even deeper into our place value and going beyond just our basic value versus place value discussion. So practice, review, Bring questions with you tomorrow, and we will keep going with our place value when I see you in class next. Have a great evening. Bye, Tigers.